downtown Imperial Beach, California, the most southwesterly city in the continental United States, is starting to come back to life. They closed the streets today, and some businesses and restaurants are opening back up. The pier is still closed, but there is somewhat of a street party going on a little further on down the block. Sandag is sponsoring the Safe Streets Initiative, and Imperial Beach is taking part by closing down a portion of Seacoast Drive. Behind me are some of the crowd that is enjoying this Memorial Day weekend. Mike Hess Brewery has a beer garden set up in the middle of the street, as well as City Tacos selling some of their wonderful food. Mike Hess Craft Beer Brewery, now open for business welcoming us to the new normal. Mike has moved all their cables six feet apart. They're still enjoying a busy, busy uh, weekend. People have to wear a mask until they get seated at their tables. Well, it's great to get back out, isn't right? it? Yes, it is. a beautiful day. So now, are you guys ready to go to a Padres game or not quite yeah. yet? Yeah, for sure. I'm here in front of Cornell Brewing Company. This is their first day back in business after the lockdown. They're doing a wonderful job. Oh, Nick, how's it going? Just trying to make people smile and drink beer. Are people smiling? People are smiling under their masks. <laughs> I'm here in front of Pier South, the Marriott Autograph Collection Hotel. They opened just a few days ago and they're completely booked. Across the street is another hotel. It's also completely booked full of tourists, locals, and other people eager to get out of their houses. While most of the restaurants are open in Imperial Beach, the Brigantine remains closed as their menu is a little bit more complicated with fresh seafood requirements, which are taking a little bit longer to get reestablished. 